All right, I'm Nick, out back. We're gonna spend some more time with the SIG P365 fuse today. Now this is nothing different than I would normally do. I go buy pistols and I buy a few pistols every month, okay? And I come out here and I shoot them and I do the same thing. Uh, so really, this is the same thing I would do like normal. I've just decided to create the YouTube channel, which is obviously brand new, and bring you guys along so you can see what happens when you unbox a gun and you shoot it, okay? Nine times out of 10, I take a gun out of the box, I take it apart, I look at it. If there's a ton of shipping grease or anything in there or it doesn't have any lube on it, I will clean it up, okay? But if it's a duty gun or a carry pistol, it shouldn't be very finicky. You should be able to take it out of the box and you should be able to fire it because it should get dirty. It should, it's gonna get lint, dust, all kinds of stuff on it. And it should work out of the box. It should work under adverse conditions it can't be finicky, whether it's a magazine problem, a grease problem. Those things should not matter. I want to know what happens. Typically, I'll put 100 rounds through before I take it apart and clean it, unless I'm having major issues, okay? So we're at 150 rounds, roughly. There's a little bit more than that in the pistol. Uh, a few failure to feeds, a failure to return to battery, which is kind of the same thing, realistically, in my mind. Uh, those things are super annoying. I did take it apart and give it a little light cleaning and give it a little lube. I use Wilson Combat Lube. It's really just what I have on hand, and it works well. It doesn't let me down, so that's what I put in there. Today we're going to come out. I got a, that box down there. It's got a few different zeros from some pistols, the last few pistols we shot. I'm going to shoot that top left corner. There's a tiny little spot. You guys probably can't see it right now. We'll walk down there. We'll see how the group was. Then we're just going to do some plinking. The targets here are 9 to 10 yards. That's about 15 to 17. And there's one way back there, which you might have a hard time seeing. But I walked it off, and it's roughly 30 yards. Okay, it's a little over 30 paces. Uh, so get a quick zero, and then we'll uh, we'll see how that looks. And then we'll go from there, okay? We're going to take uh, three to five shots. We're going to go slow. Make sure the red dot's in the same spot every time I pull the trigger. All right, let's go down there, turn on this little camera. That way you guys can have a look. Okay, so hopefully the little camera's recording, but I was aiming for this, but it's hard to see because that center dot is two MOA, and at 10 yards, I was, I was looking for this little piece here, but I just couldn't really see it, okay? Uh, so I'm not sure if I was on it exactly, it does appear every shot is to the left, which could just be me pulling the trigger up and down. But it was really hard to tell. I didn't put a big target up there to really see very well. Uh, but as you guys can see, I don't know what zero was that was. I'm not sure what zero that was, but this zero right here, that was from Mechanic TTI uh, from 7 to 10 yards. And I wasn't very happy with it. All right, so uh, it's not bad. A little bit off to the left. I'm gonna go out here. I'm just gonna shoot the 30 yard, 30 yard target and see what happens. I haven't shot it that far yet. It's pretty accurate though. Oops. Uh oh, hit it the first time. Now there are some branches out there in the way, so sometimes we cut down some trees, and you may be able to see that. All right, I like it though. That's a fine shooting pistol, man. I talk about it a lot. If you're gonna buy a pistol, I might have been out of the frame there, it is what it is. If you're gonna buy a pistol, you need to shoot it more. Like buy a pistol, shoot the pistol, man. If you can only afford a $300 pistol, there's nothing wrong with that. Buy a thousand rounds and shoot a thousand rounds through. Your finger and your brain and muscle memory, you will adapt to the trigger. So don't blame the trigger. You gotta get used to the trigger. Yeah, I uh, tell you, I like it. I like that longer barrel. 
makes a big difference. I don't have a holster for this, so we're just going to go from the low ready, try to double tap that first target real quick. No, I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. It's pretty good. Got a little sloppy there. Now, those targets are six inches wide, 10 inches tall. The holder does add two inches for it, but that's not what we're looking at. And I'll be honest with you, I mean, I'm aiming, but for the most part, I'm just pointing and pulling the trigger. I mean, I'm seeing the dot eventually, but a lot of times, especially at this range, about 10 yards, I'm just pointing. I'm just pointing the gun. Oh. Oh, I missed. This is part of it. You got to get used to that. Um, but I do like it. We'll shoot it right-handed. Oh, it feels weird in my right hand. I have a hard time finding that dot right-handed with this little tiny optic. Wow, that's hard. With the with the regular like RMR, I'm used to shooting like a MP 2.0. That's no big deal. That's weird. Still get it done. Oh, I missed. Oh man. See, those are things I want to know. Uh, anybody can do it from uh, three yards. Uh -oh. One hand, off hand. Am I gonna succeed at 30? Probably not. I guess I'm not gonna be able to do it. Uh, this is what I come out here to do. I mean, these are things that you need to know. You need to know if it'll do it. Oh, last one. I think this is a great shooting firearm. All right, that's another 50. I guess a little more than 50, uh, but it's shooting really, really well, okay? Now, remember, we did clean, we did lube it. There were zero malfunctions. The gun obviously ran quite a bit smoother. You could double tap pretty darn fast with it, no issues. Uh, I think this is gonna be a fine pistol. Like I said before, that thing does get hot. Uh, I would not shoot 50 rounds for this and put it back into a, a holster, that was appendix carried holster anyways, right? Uh, I like it. I'm going to get some more ammo. We'll come back out here and shoot it some more. If you guys got any questions, let me know.